Not yet! Red Bull. Yes, everyone, my name is Colin. And I'm Usman. Usman, but... <laughs> this is the Collective Carbonation. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's uh, We changed our name. We just decided to do it because, you know, we were bored. So, you know, that type of thing. You, you know, might get us more subscribers this yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyways, welcome. Today we are going to be doing um, Red Bull. He just, you know, had some Red Bull. And it does give you wings, as far as I know. Right, Colin? Nope. Okay. Well, <laughs> but yes, uh, today I don't really have, like, you know, the notes, uh, like, on the screen. It's mainly because we have a little bit of a connection issue. Colin knows, obviously. He's dealt with that a lot before, I assume. Yeah, the budget's low. Very much so, yes. Um, but yes, we will be talking about that. I got some cool convo topics. Uh, you know, something interesting, that type of thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. You know, Colin. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Usman, what's up? I've been thinking <laughs> recently about... Spider-Man versus Batman. <laughs> yes, Spider. I thought of just you know how how you know uh, how like who would win in a battle between you know whatever. I mean, I know one one guy's like a human being, just like a regular guy, doesn't have superpowers, but he knows how to fight and everything. And then the other guy's like webs and, and spider powers. Technically, they're both human beings. One just got bit by an insect. The other one just had rich parents. Not an insect. It's an arachnid. That's an insect. Well, technically, we're gonna find out in the post. Yeah, but post. It's definitely an insect. insects, arach in arachnids, whatever. Uh, it's in the same family. Yeah, don't 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 diss Spider Man like that. Um, he's my he's my superhero. Uh, you got bit by a spider. Yes. Uh, you got bit by a spider, and then you got Batman, who basically, yeah, rich guy, rich. His parents died, and now he wears uh, the BDSM outfits. How, how did you? No, how did you get it from there? <laughs> You just randomly like seeing that stuff, Colin? Well, I mean, if you look at him, let's be honest. I, I, I think, uh, for me, instant win, Spider-Man. I know Batman, yeah. he's always... The writers, they always have, like, these sort of things where, like, no, Batman's going to win because he does this sort of thing, and he pulls a, you know, a rabbit out of his hat and, you know, turns into a giant mechanized robot that yeah. destroys things. What, I what prefer, do you think? I prefer Spider-Man, also. Um, I was kind of hoping you would be Batman so you could put up more of a sort of, like, you know... No, we'll fight of it regarding that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I'm not a huge. I mean, I I'll watch the Batman movies, obviously, but I definitely pick Spider Man over Batman. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, he's just a person in a weird outfit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's true. Uh, it's like, <laughs> I mean, well, his, his outfit's not too weird. I mean, it's pretty uh, well, cool. You know what I mean? He's, I mean, a lot of people give him. Uh, he just plays a dress up and is rich, so he has a lot of gadgets and just fights people. Even those gadgets can go up against like a lot of like superhero. I mean, super like uh, like meta humans, like basically superhumans, like like Spider Man and stuff like that. So for some reason, yeah, for some reason, when in reality, I'm like, I just think that, yeah, he could just get beat so <laughs> like quickly. Yeah. Like for instance, there's like um. I think when he goes up against Superman, right? Like, or he goes up against like probably some of the Justice League. He fights them, and then all of a sudden, it's like uh, we're gonna go nerdy on you. We obviously are. So, but um, no, like he goes up against them. All of a sudden, he's able to basically just get out of there unscathed. He has like some random like contingency plan all the time at all times, you know. Yeah. So it's always like crazy how they how they think of these things because he's such a popular character. You don't really want to kill him off. He has a cool motorcycle. I'll give him that. The Bat Pod? Yes. Yes, the Bat Pod. I, I, yeah, like every time I see those movies, I just, I'm like, oh, goodness, I, I, I just want to, I wish I had one of those. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, I'll give him that. He has cool stuff like that. Cool stuff like that, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever even seen or even really, or whatever, like more of like the, like, you know, when they make like fan videos or something with Spider-Man or Batman, like where they actually fight each other. Like there's like two actors and then they sort of like reenact that stuff. I don't know. You're if you've talking seen like that. basically backyard wrestling, but with, <laughs> no. but with costumes. <laughs> no, 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 no. One that actually has a production. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. A, like they actually like, like one, like they had one where it was like, uh, it's like a YouTube channel. I think it was has like, you know, Wolverine versus Wonder Woman and like uh, Darth Vader versus Batman and stuff like that. And they, but the, the thing is what they do is that they kind of just, they play for both sides so it's like batman would f like beat darth vader and then darth vader would beat batman so like it's always kind of interesting so they would make one where spider-man for some reason he misses batman batman's like Hur! and he's like yeah, and then he's just like i'm gonna get after you <laughs> my throat's sore <laughs> <laughs> and, 
<laughs> and it's just like it's very I have bronchitis <laughs> and I'm <laughs> tough <laughs> Hi, Batman. <laughs> yeah, and, and then uh, Spider Man's able to, ba- uh, Batman's able to win, and then Spider Man's able to like just be like, you know, at, at another point and beat Batman somehow. But yeah, it's I always, always wondered where his webs come from. His webs are mainly. Because I know, like modern, he has like a device now. Yeah, right? web shooters. But yeah. like in well, the not, original movies. Well, in the movies, in the comics, he had like. Uh, he had web shooters, but they never used that in the original um, Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire movies. Yeah. So that's kind of what they did. That's so. where I'm wondering. I'm like, where where does it come from in those movies? Yeah. It's, everybody <laughs> they always... Never, yeah, they, they, they never show it. You know? Yeah. Well, uh, well yeah. It, it, you know what's also interesting, too, is that in the original movies, they when he was like crawling the walls or something, he had, he had like knives or something coming, coming out of his fingers. Oh, I never so, noticed that. Yeah, so it's like he, they, they show that or, or whatever just to like attach to the wall. I don't know. Some people thought there was like, like little like knives or like little like sharp See, it'd be cool to see that without the costume. Like maybe he's got like a couple <laughs> holes like in his wrist like that shoot out the webs and he actually has retractable claws. Uh-huh. That'd be cool to see without the costume. Right. It's like it's just like kind of like uh was it Wolverine or something. Yeah, pretty much. That'd yeah. Be, it's like <laughs> that type of thing. Like he's pissed <laughs> off at school and he just <laughs> yeah, and the webs make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? What are you going to do, nerd? <laughs> <laughs> Parker! <laughs> I'm coming after your soda! <laughs> Pizza time. <laughs> Wait, try to do the noise. <laughs> no, like, actually try oh. to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I get commendable. Yeah. What about you, cameraman? Oh. Can you do the noise? Yeah, but uh, Spider-Man all the way, I totally agree. Unless Batman has, like, some random gadget that can probably... Because I, I've seen things where Spider-Man fights Iron Man, who's basically kind of like the Batman of the universe. Has uh, Spider-Man and, it's different. and Batman... Well, obviously, they never fought each other. Never mind. They're too different. What were you... Well, I was, either way. I was just going to ask for some reason if they ever fought each other, but obviously they haven't. A lot but of fan that, stuff, probably, um, whatever. I suppose he's got that grappling hook. He could shoot at Spider Man and maybe catch him in a rib cage or something. Oh yeah, yeah. He'd just be like, he'd just like, I'm playing dirty today too. Like a like a rated R movie where there's actual blood. <laughs> well, even PG thirteen films, they could probably get away with it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> like, because uh, I know, like in the the last Wolverine movie, Logan. That was rated I, R. They had actual gore. And uh, yeah, that'd be cool to I see. Love, in I, yeah, Logan was awesome. I love that movie. Yeah. it's like it's one of the better like superhero movies that came out in recent. I heard he's coming back. For yes, a, yes, one more. Deadpool three. Yes, uh, he's coming back for that. Cannot wait to see that. And uh, I thought he was having his own movie. Who Wolverine? Yeah, I mean he. Well, well he. But yeah, I think they stopped with that. I mean, that. Well, yeah, I suppose it's technically. He, I think this might technically, and then he might come back in another Avengers movie. But he's yeah. gonna meet Tobey Maguire's Spider Man. That's what I read. Oh, so it'd be like a prequel or something. It would. Pro- I, I think I read it might be like a prequel, so something regarding that. Yeah. I cannot wait for that. Like it's it's already like in a couple of years from now. I thought there was gonna be like some kind of movie after Logan with the kid. Because mm-hmm. it kind of left off with the, with the kid, obviously. Oh, oh yeah, X twenty three. Yeah, so I was like, okay, they'll probably pick up with that and go. They might. But they never. It's how long ago was that movie? Like six years. Yeah, and I haven't heard anything. Came out. Since. In, it came out in twenty seventeen. Yeah, I still consider that movie to be one of the best ones. But yeah, it was really good. Yeah, and yeah, but who knows? I there's a lot of like cool, interesting matchups. We will talk about those more eventually down the line. Um, I just thought of doing that too. You know, we did the other stuff with Colin and the Would You Rather, which is also fun. Yes. And I and yeah, we'll 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 keep mixing it up a little bit here and there. Yeah. Superhero mm-hmm. stuff we could just go on and on. Yeah. <laughs> we got the me. actual podcast <laughs> to do. That's true. So soda history time on well, the script. Energy drink history. Or, 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 Right. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, energy drink history for Red Bull that actually, I think, does not actually give you wings, but um, we're going to assume that it does for the time being. Um, I'll just, you know what? I'll just read it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so, in 1976, I am going to try my best to pronounce this name. I hope I don't mess it up. If I do, uh, my apologies. Chaleo Uvidya. Uh, introduced a drink called Krating Dang, 
in Thailand. Which means red guar. Yes, in English. <laughs> it was popular among Thai truck drivers and laborers while working for German manufacturer Blendax, later acquired by Procter & Gamble in 1982. Uh, Dietrich, during his visit, discovered that the Crating Diang uh, helped cure his jet lag. In 1984, co Red Bull GmbH with Uvidia and turned it into an international brand. Okay. Nice. And, uh, oh, yeah. April 1st, 1987 was when the drinks launched in Austria. That's like very... I actually thought it was going to be... Oh! Like, <laughs> do something about that. Uh, uh, check out the it Ar makes you pump iron. Yeah, check out the Arnold Schwarzenegger documentary on Netflix. Wait, um, he has a new doc... Oh, I thought I saw him <laughs> advertising that. I don't have Netflix anymore, but... Why? It's a long story. Well, not really. Screw... I don't, I don't want to keep paying for it. I got you. They own their own Red Bull teams with clubs in Austria, Germany, the United States, and Brazil, featuring the Red Bull trademark in their names. It's it's like this soda is not even that or soda. This carbonated beverage, energy this drink. energy drink, is not that old, <laughs> and yet it's like everywhere. Like I mean, everywhere. And I've like and obviously sponsored by all the yeah. uh, stunts and stuff. Yeah, and and you can't avoid it. It's like pretty much. Anywhere you go, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull. So I, I really sponsored by Red Bull, and I never had it before because I'm not really an energy drink guy, as I mentioned. Sting, on the other hand, caught my attention. But let's give this one a shot. Um, first time trying it for me. Uh, you can give well your thoughts Many afterwards. Many times trying it for me. Mm -hmm. Um. So let's give it go into the taste test, Dylan. Do you want uh, do you want me to pour in some Red Bull for you? Sure. I was already drinking out of mine, so. <laughs> Here you can have this. <laughs> oh, you already have your drink. Oh, you he still want in that? He was prepared. Very interesting color here. Oh yeah. Piss. <laughs> More, less. Perfect. All right. That must have been where the rumor came from that it was bull piss. I did read about that, yeah, or, or sort of heard about it actually, yeah. And it has uh, for some reason I thought it was a clear color. I never drank it out of a cup, so I never. What really... is the smell of this? That's the uh, taurine, taurine, Tor taurine, taurine. I think that's what uh, it is. appreciated yeah. worldwide by a top athlete's business. Most energy drinks have that smell to it, so I assume that's probably what it is. Gotcha. Very good. Um, mm, eh. Chug it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> um, it's uh. I don't know what taurine tastes like. Um, I just. I it's, think that's just what actually is the energy, <laughs> energizing product in it. All right. Um, yeah, I just. I'm not really a f giant fan. I'm like. It's, I like it personally. It's fine. I mean, I, 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 I sting gets me going. I like sting I, a lot. As long as you don't let it get flat, mm -hmm. it, it tastes good. But if you let it go flat, then it's like, eh. right. Total fat, 0%. <laughs> sodium, 4%. Total carbohydrate, 10%. 110 calories. It's like the, yeah. Uh -huh. On the next episode, we can see how many Usman can drink before he has a heart attack. No. <laughs> <laughs> Has it really happened before with the heart attack thing? Uh, probably if you have a ton of them. Yeah, I'm going with Sting all the way, <laughs> even though I did, like comparison wise. But like Sting tastes more like a soda. Yeah, which yeah, I guess with me it's more of that. This is like a traditional like what energy drink. So yeah. I don't know if I would go back and get this again, but I mean it's fine. It's not like the worst thing I've ever had. Yeah, actually. I like it. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> so uh, add that to the compilation. Sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I would probably give this like maybe about. I don't know, like probably a five and a half. We doing like a different scale for energy drinks separate from soda? I didn't even think about that. That's actually a great idea. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you can't right. really. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Uh, I don't even remember what I got Sting. Sting, 
we'll compile that. Um, I think Sting, you might have gave it like a eight, seven point five or eight. That's on the top. So, yep. Better, better than this. I don't know what the scale would be exactly. Well, so dr- one to ten. I mean, another or, another one to ten. Okay. Or we could do one to five. I don't know. One to five. Yeah, we could do. Sure, one to five, whatever. Um, I'd probably give this like a two and a half. <laughs> two and a half. Yeah. I'd give it a three and a half. Interesting. Yeah. I guess one point uh, higher for me and everything. What about you, Dylan? That's a ten. A ten. We're doing one to five for energy drinks. Ten. All right. So he said it's a two. No, he said it's a ten. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> but um, yes, that was another I think short episode of the Carbonated Collective. Very fun, interesting one. Yeah, we're trying to keep it short as usual. And uh, by the way, everyone, we are on Spotify. So check it out, and we plan First to expand. Four. Yes. Eventually, we're going to have all of our episodes up on there. Of course, of course. That's just another option. Yes, indeed. And, yeah, we leave stuff in the comments. What sodas what, or beverages, whatever, carbonated. Please comment. Even if, like, you have something mean to say. Because we never get comments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, just throw any comments we're at us. Fishing anything, for, we're, fishing, we're fishing for compliments. Uh, you know, that's... No, not even compliments. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Well, like and subscribe, and we'll see you whenever we can. Well, next time. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for watching, or hate watching, or just anything. Thank you okay. for your attention. Yes, indeed. Bye-bye. Bye.